Hi everyone, I'm Pastor Mark Solger, bringing you the message of hope today. Uh, our subject today is going to be intercessory prayer and faith. I'm reading from Matthew chapter 8 this morning, verse 5 says, When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asked for help. A centurion was a Roman presence in Capernaum because they were the conquering nation and they were hated by Jews. They weren't spoken to. This is why this miracle is partially very important. Lord, he says, the fact that he called him Lord was important too. My servant lies at home paralyzed and he's in terrible pain. The centurion continued, Lord, I don't deserve to have you come into my house, but just say the word and my servant's going to be healed. For I am myself a man under authority with soldiers that are under me. And I tell this one, go, and he goes. And I tell that one, come, and he comes. And I tell this servant, do this, and he does that. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you the truth, I haven't found anyone with the amount of faith that this man has. I say to you that many are going to come from the east and west and are going to take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the kingdom of heaven. Basically, he's telling them it's for everybody. This is early in his career, and it's a big thing to say, especially to his disciples. Jesus then says to the centurion, Go, it's going to be done as you believed it would. And his servants were healed at that very hour. Do you have somebody that's suffering today? Emotionally, physically, spiritually, definitely that one. Ask God to be with them. Ask God to be with them. I know that my grandmother and my mom prayed for me to, to be able to come into the church long before I could even hear it or see it. And I'm so grateful for the two of them for doing that and any others that do that. I pray for many that are sick and I... I see some of them healed, which is really interesting to watch um, the miracles happen. But I find that when I see a miracle or somebody get healed happen, my faith grows. That's how it grows. So please pray for those around you today. Pray for yourselves too. I say God be with you. And that uh, you might know them better today and bend friends around you as well. God bless you. Till later. This is Pastor Mark signing out.